Why is it that when we want to make a change in our life and we know what we need to do and even how to do it, we so often end up right where we started? Well, there's a secret no one tells us. Well, until today. Stay tuned, I'll spill the beans and provide you the most important key to creating change. Change. So many have trouble affecting real change in their lives. Their financial situation remains stuck, or they keep having the same relationship issues, or they're not able to make the headway in the career that they want. History seems to keep repeating itself no matter how hard we try to do something different. <laughs> Want to know why? Well, believe it or not, the biggest reason we all have a hard time making a change is a fear. The fear of death. Whoa, wait, that seems a bit overly dramatic. It does indeed seem overly dramatic, but that's actually its superpower. Let me explain. If we are contemplating a change and that change seems really big or scary, the fear that is generated is based on the uncertainty of an unknown future outcome. Is that a tiger on our path ahead? Does that stranger across the street have violent intentions? Or, you know, if I lose my job, I could end up losing my house, live under a bridge, freeze to death. The fear part of our brain is really good at thinking the very worst and easily takes us into its vortex of doom. That's its way of keeping us safe. This kind of fear can keep us from doing anything new. Fortunately, the more rational part of our brain will frequently see through those lies. We realize that whatever we're facing is probably not going to kill us. It's just an overactive imagination, and frankly, we'd do well to forget about it. Just move on. And that's the second lie that steps in to take the place of the first. It's a lie because if you are wanting to make a change, something does need to die. Not you, of course, but some way in which you've identified yourself. The way we identify ourselves, the beliefs we have about who we are, determine what we do. For example, if you believe you're an average student, you'll choose to take average classes, you'll exert an average level of effort, and you'll come out with an average grade. That, of course, provides evidence to prove your original belief that you're average. Your belief of who you are determines what you do and how you do it, and it becomes a self-fulfilling travesty. There's a longer discussion of this in Chapter 5 of my book, Thoughts on Demand, and you can learn more at thoughtsondemand.org. But the upshot is that to make real change, your beliefs about yourself and the limitations you have must give way to a new way of identifying yourself. Your old identity needs to die in order for a new one to take its place. And when that happens, when you believe something new about yourself, you'll choose to do different things and you'll do them in new ways. This is what creates real change. What beliefs do you have that tell you you're limited in some way? How do those limitations show up? What new belief would help you create the life that you want? Those are the questions to ask yourself. In the comments below, tell me what beliefs you are ready to give up. And then share this video with a friend. It's great to have a partner to support you along the path of change. Till next time, I wish you abundance and joy.